So it's here, it's now, it's game time. Yes. Lost to a team that had bobbed the builder up front. The shit football months are here, and a monsoon is coming. It's here. It's now. It's game day. We're away for this one. We're off to Stonebridge Road. It's Ebbsfleet United v Barnet in the Vanarama National League. So just like last season, where we was unsegregated, and it pissed down all game, we're doing it all again. I really hope they fix that crooked stand that Jack's built, so I can take some shelter. <laughs> Anyway, that's another chat in bollocks. Let's get into football news! So Ebsley finished 8th last season, one place outside of the playoffs where they played 46 times. Winning 18, drawing 13, losing 15, scoring 64, conceding 50, giving them a goal difference of plus 14 and they ended on 67 points. They currently sit rock bottom of the National League and the last 5 games have been 3 draws and 2 losses. Barnet fan Gary Hill has been in charge since the 8th of November 2018, where he's now taken 30 games, winning 12, drawing 9, losing 9, and gives him a win percentage of 40%. <laughs> Number 11, Miles Weston, who has two goals in 12 games. I don't care about your mess. I don't give a fuck. Ah, oh, shit. Here we go again. The 8th for the 12th, 2018. Ebsfleet United 1, Barnet 0. I can't find any highlights of any Barnet games anymore. There must be a crackdown or something. It's all there, black and white, clear as crystal. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. So, let's get to the grand. Let's get some team news in. Let's get three points. And then let's get a fuck out of town. Fuck you, Ebsfleet United. Making me stand behind the goal with no cover to keep me dry. South Eastern, best upgrade your rat-infested train station of a football ground, you bunch of wankers. Come on, Barnet. <laughs> Starting lineup for Barnet in a 4 2 3 1 for tonight. Loach in goal. Your back four of Shad Alexander at right back. Hernandez at left back. Captain Cannon Reynolds and Ricardo Santos, your two centre halves. Two centre midfielders, Maro Valetti and Jack Taylor. Three in the advanced midfield role. Simeon Nakanola on the wide left. Ephraim Mason Clark on the wide right. And Wesley Fongook in the number 10 role. And up front, Alfie Pavey. And this is that Ebsfleet United lineup for tonight. Just gone caught for an area, still 0 0. Ebsfleet passing the ball around quite nice. Short, sharp passes. Quick on the attack. Been the better in front of goal. Half hour in, still nil nil. Not a lot has changed. And Come first on, touches has been shocking. Set pieces, can't even beat the first man. Ebsfleet are defending quite well. They've got five at the back. They're just cleaning up everything. We're trying to knock it wide to our wide men. We're not breaking them down. When Ebsfleet get the ball and they counter attack, it is fast and they're whipping balls in. They just haven't got anyone on the end of it. 33 minutes in, Ebsfleet United won. Barnet nil. They've attacked us down our left hand side. Weston's whipped a ball in to the box. No one taking charge to get rid of it. It's advanced in front of a load, just dropped into the corner. Here we go again. Two minutes later, 35 minutes in, SV United 2, Barnet 0. Fantastic piece of individual skill and a quality goal by Reed. Drag back, cut back, left foot, nothing Loach could do. Bottom right hand corner, 2 0 Dan against bottom of the league. 5 to the half, absolutely still lead 2 0. I get to go home in the second half. Half time here at Stonebridge Road, and it's Ebsley United 2, it's Barnet 0. And I've got nothing but praise for Ebsley for 45 minutes. They don't play like a team bottom of the league. They've usually shown us how to play some football. They're pressing high, they've got three, four players around us every time we're attacking. Yet again, it's another 45 minutes from us where we haven't turned up. We've got nothing for us going forward. Weston's running the show for Ebsley. Us, weak, embarrassing, piss poor. You are taking the fucking piss out of me, Barnet. All your fucking fingers. At 45 minutes to go. Time 
10 into the second half, absolutely still lead 2 0. All we seem to be doing is the 40 yard Hollywood ball every time. 60 minutes in, it's still 2 0 to Ebsley. We just had a first shot on target. Josh Walker running down on their goal as a shot. The keeper just saves it with his legs nice and easy. I do love spending my hard earned money watching a pub side. Yeah. We still haven't figured out how to work out plan B. 20 minutes to go, Ebsley United 3, Barnet 0. Free kick in about 25 yards, no one just taking charge to get rid of it, just standing there. And Obli Eye has a tap in to make it 3 0. Fucking hate football. We're playing like the team who's bottom of the league, not them. Oh, come on, we've got a chance! Oh my god! I think we've signed the new Sean Bat, Byron Harrison put together. How haven't you scored that, Alfie Pavey? Shea whips a ball in, defender slip, Pavey brings it down on his chest, and he just has a shot straight down the throat of the keeper. I don't think Ebsley would have an easier three points all season. Into 90th, still Ebsley leading 3 0. Out on three minutes, just end it now, ref. <laughs> So the game finished Ebsfleet United 3, Banter FC 0. You've got to start off by praising Ebsfleet. They deserved the win. They wanted it from start to finish. They set up right. They had a game plan. And every single one of them worked hard. And they didn't let us have a second on the ball. They had three of their players around one of ours at every time we had something going. That was their first win at home this season. You deserve the win. That's how football should be played. Now, on to us. We lost to a train station who was bottom of the fucking league. We set up with our very usual, very boring, very predictable 4-2-3-1 and we couldn't match Ebsleet's 3-5-2. It was an embarrassing, pathetic, gutless, disgraceful and clueless performance by us. We've now conceded seven goals in our last two games. Sunday league teams defend better than that. Absolutely piss poor. Lack of awareness, concentration, lack of discipline and the biggest one of all, lack of football intelligence from our manager and players. Wasteful passing. Far too much Hollywood hoofball went on for that game and we can't even do it right. We either under hit the ball or over hit the ball. So what does that tell you? We're shit at it. So stop fucking doing it. Another game where we're in the last 20 minutes, we're losing and there's no change from the management at all. Here's an idea and you can have this for free. Try putting two or three players up front. It won't fucking kill you. No plan B. Just let's stick our heads in the sand and keep carry on playing the 4 2 3 1 because I lack football intelligence to change or adapt my game. You took the piss out of every Barnet fan there last night. So before you start blaming the players, Curry, have a look at yourself and your number two, who was voted worst player in the Premier League two seasons running for how we set up in that game and didn't even try to change or adapt once. First shot on target in about the 60th minute. Pavey's wasted so many chances, but it's clear that he can't play up front on his own. He needs someone with him and you're isolating Barham, who I think would work well with him to do his running and run off to anything he knocks down. So we've got a Rossi Mark II on our hands yet again, blaming injuries and isolating fit players because they're not one of the lads. They don't fit the criteria because we're just customers and we know fuck all. Guess I'm going to be on someone's list yet again. Hi! Let's see if we can try and have a performance. Saturday, Sully Hull, you know what to do. Ta la. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of you. Fuck off out of here. Get out. Out. And one more thing. Get out.